Okay, Michaela, I picked this one. The other ones I really liked, and I just I just thought because this is a miss, it'd be better to analyze. The other ones were solid, um, the 75s. Oh! Um, and I was thinking about analyzing some of the ones from last Friday, but you know I, I do like this. Pulling position looks pretty good. You're not too wide there. But even here, like, get those knees back a little more. They they, they stay forward just a little bit. And that's why I should have... I, I do like the video from Friday because you can see the knees. Your knees just stay a little forward. Instead of getting them completely vertical off of the floor, they stay just a hair forward. And you can sort of see where that where that right knee is right now. You know, that they've got to stay patient and stay on those heels a little bit longer. Um, let's see if we go zoom in here. Even there, you know, should be on the heels just a little bit longer because this, you know, you're, you're making contact here. Right as you make contact, I want the heels down. But the good thing is your chest is staying over here, and that's good. That's strong. Now, the thing that I, I it's hard to get the point across is that <clears throat> when you finish here, okay, maybe left side could be a little more extended, but the one thing I notice is, you know, this is like the last point of contact. And I want you to think about a tall snatch or a no brush, no feet snatch where you've really got to grab the floor on that finish. And there's like, think, you know, somebody who does this really well is Caitlin Hogan, where she holds that floor for a, a, it's like a slight delay where she's still finishing with that upper body and then moves. Whereas you sort of bump, you bump and immediately slide those feet back. So you lose connection with the ground a little early. And you can see there, when you slide the feet back, you know, you, you rotate them out. But I think if you could hold that just a little longer, hold, 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 and think grab with those toes a little bit more, and then push those heels down faster, that's going to become a little more stable, and it's not going to be, you know, this position is not conducive to catching that, that uh, you know, so that's 78, that, that load, you can see with those heels. Okay, and that's where I think, I actually think that's, that position there on your left and right feet, that's leading to a lot of the stress in the knees, more so than anything else, not the squats, but the receiving position. So, with that being said, so the bars just stays a little forward, but the bars forward because of what you're doing from here, okay? So if you could hold that up and then out with the heels down, think out with the heels down, 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 so everything moves out. That's, that's the thing with you because of that, that mobility issue in your feet and your ankles, Michaela, I think that if you could really, really focus on out in the catch, so out and heels down, out and heels down. I think you could snatch 83. I think you'd snatch 84. Because um, your pull is, is a beast pull. You can pull the shit out of anything, but it's, that, it's just that inconsistent catch position. The figure skater catch with those toes really wide. Okay, so that's just something that I think you should think about is, is holding that ground long on the pull and then out with the feet into the catch. Out with the heels, out with the heels, out with the heels. And that's the thing. I even think triggering out with the heels will help because your heels are always internally rotating. So think about that. I think that this is not far off. You know, 80 plus is not far off. It's just something that we got to keep working at and, and getting rid of that ankle issue.